The Aruga Podcast. Somehow somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys. They look busy, right? Welcome back. Boom, 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 boom. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the discombobulated intro. <laughs> of the Aruga Podcast. <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> you got the whole. Good job. You're Go inserted. Did. Go did. Did it first try, right? For yeah. Sure. Yeah. Years of Do you practice. do it the first time every time? No, usually I can't find it, but mm. this time I just got lucky. That's tough. You want to All right. Anyways. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How you guys doing? It's been a while. It's been a week. We took a week off. Nice little summer start of summer vacation. Yeah. Sure. Indeed. Now we're all like scarred from the first week of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I have a tan line that shows that I've been outside working. It's kind of disgusting. It's like cut on my arms. Like my tan. It's really horrible. Fair. Yeah. That means that you need to go outside, shirtless, and <laughs> yeah. just like bathe, sunbathe. But why do I? Why? Why do I need to? You know, and summer at the so beach. That's the vitamin D. Mm. And I know I need to. Yeah. Very important. It is important. You don't want to be on the beach looking like you're never been on the beach before. So yeah, I get that. But it's also as like a guy to suntan. It's kind of like, don't I have better things to do? Don't get skin cancer. There's also that one too, you know. Yeah, yeah don't get skin cancer. Got to put some. Got to put some. My sun family has had on. some scares over the past years. Really, like little moles mm-hmm. that end up turning to be like from sun cancer or whatever. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. They had to like they end up getting like cut out to get them cut out and shit. Mm-hmm. Not fun. It is not fun. I've personally had some moles cut out before, and it's it's weird a weird procedure they like numb you and then they like scrape it out with what looks like a little pizza knife or it's almost like how warts work mm-hmm. like you freeze a, you freeze a wart but i guess you just cut out a mole yeah i heard that freeze freezing it doesn't work really most of the time huh yeah i don't i never really understood that one every time i've ever had a mole cut out they they just numb it they just like put a needle like a numbing agent into it hmm it's crazy biology. Yeah, yeah. How you doing? You had to wait. A, you had to wait thirty minutes. No, grinding, almost an hour. Grinding. Bro. Yeah. Did you did you do anything before you Solo recorded? Solo cornhole. Yeah. No, Solo. No, no, no. You just things. sat outside the whole time waiting for I us. Was grinding, doing some of the legal stuff. Like oh, like trying to make your new crypto. Well, by the time this comes out, it'll already be done. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was just like <laughs> trading it'll crypto. already been made. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you want to, do you want to like promo it? Do you like, what's the name of your crypto? Nah, <laughs> not named yet. <laughs> Unnamed. Black Unnamed. market crypto. Untitled? It's the Voldemort one. of crypto. Literally. The one that cannot be named. Gotcha. That's crazy. Maybe that'll be the next one. Yeah. The one that cannot be named. Pretty sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Do you have like a goal with that thing or? Millions. I need to make millions of dollars. Mm. I was looking at some crypto on the Solana blockchain. Yeah. And some dudes are investing like 700 bucks and coming out with $5 million in a day. I know. It's, and it's always on Solana, I've noticed. I don't know what it is. It's crazy. Crazy shit, dude. I what you just said seems it impossible. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's actually, so like, it's, in, it's so incredible. Like, the financial FOMO. Financial FOMO is such a thing. And, um, yeah, yeah. You just like ignited that in my brain. It's like, I got to buy now. I got to, what are we podcasting for? <laughs> 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 that's hilarious. Well, that's every day. You know, someone's making millions every day from a small investment. So yeah, there's time. It is true. Yeah. yeah. Just from like 2000 shares of some shit coin out there. Mm-hmm. And then a week later, everyone starts hopping on the bandwagon. Yeah, or just like giant whales, just like move their money around. Dude, I was looking at one crypto today, and like the market cap was, I think like three billion, and it just came out. Th- like I think it said thirteen hours ago. Damn. 
So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> what? so everyone here investing on this crypto is a billionaire and millionaire and shit like that. Hundreds of millionaires and billionaires only investing in this crypto that just came out. Mm-hmm. It was nuts. Hmm. That's weird. A lot of pump and dumps, huh? Yeah, for pumps it's like and dumps. like IPO version of crypto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Seriously. Dude, once the mm-hmm. government gets on that, it's wraps. It's over, right? It's wraps. Yeah. But then that'll be the next thing. There'll be AI trading. Well, well we already yeah. have. We have the USDC. Yeah, I don't US trust that. Coin. That's scary, dude. I miss like, I love the idea of cash. The idea of cash is amazing. You know, we don't need the government in every single transaction. What were you holding on to for a while? Was, was it Ethereum Classic, or was it like Bitcoin, Cash? No? Mm, I had I had Ethereum. Uh, Ethereum coin or what was it? What did you say? Ethereum, Ethereum classic? classic. Yeah, I had that for a while. Yeah, I had that for yeah. a while. That one was a weird one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I had the. I think that there are two different bitcoins, aren't there? Yeah. And I think I had and the other version even, of bitcoin. There's Litecoin. Yeah. I'm trying. To th- I don't know. There's Litecoin. There's Dark Coin. When there's Dark Coin, <laughs> there is Air Coin. So many coins. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I used to love investing in crypto, but now I'm just like, I'm so over it now. I'm like exhausted. I was so... So much. Yeah. In like 2020 to 2023, I think I was interested in it. Now it's like... I know. There's burnout when every company has coin at the end of it. Mm-hmm. It's like the dot-com thing. Like yeah. Everyone wanted to have dot-com, a website basically. Right. You know, everything's becoming a crypto. Mm-hmm. It, what's the one that's like cosmic or it's like um cosmos uh, maybe? cosmos maybe i think i had cosmos that's i had i can't believe it's actually called cosmos yeah that's just weird there's a lot of those little coins that i had i probably had over 15 different coins but right if maybe polygon as well i think i had a few i had a lot of polygon algorand sure um, sure Stellar Lumens. Stellar Lumens, yeah. I had a fuck a ton of Stellar Lumens, Dude, too. Stellar Lumens came in clutch sometimes. Yeah, yeah. What was that big one that Sam Bankman Freed backed? What was that one? World Coin. Mm. I don't know. That's the one he was trying to make. I, know I thought it was like a Forex or some shit. Like e- that was his company? Or yeah. Are you talking about Sam Bankman? Yeah. Mm-hmm. FTX. Mm-hmm. Was that the coin? I don't know if that was the coin. But Binance. He- Maybe Binance, yeah. I remember having to... B&B. Do you remember that coin that you really couldn't get unless you went through Binance? And then you had to go onto another shady app, exchange your Binance to the shady app, then the shady app would exchange um, it with this like real you know, coin that doesn't exist, but you buy it with Binance? That one had like, something to do with the moon. Really? Yeah. Okay. There's like a... Like Uniswap and Pancake Swap. Yeah, just Pancake Swap. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and a couple other swaps. ones too. But I forget what, which one I chose to be able to do this transaction. And um, yeah, I just remember it was like fucking so a thousand steps. Xing, you know? Yeah. And it's like, you can only buy so much. And <laughs> You know, Matic though, Polygon. Okay. Yeah, I do we, actually. We minted all of our NFTs on Polygon. Yeah. And that did not work out. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Just no purchases or like expensive fees. Like, it was oh, free, no. I thought. I think yeah, it was free it was of expenses. Free. It yeah. was better than Ethereum. Free to mint too. Free to mint. But then like the price was on Ethereum, right? Am I right about yeah, that? The price was Ethereum, but it was based in Polygon. So oh, like okay. you would buy it through po- like you buy it through Ethereum or Polygon. I th- yeah, you're saying it right. It's like yeah. on the Polygon blockchain. Right. Yeah. yeah. To make it free, quote unquote. Yeah. All that shit is so weird. It's so squirrely, dude. Dude, I helped one of my coworkers at my internship. Mm-hmm. One of the engineers. Mm-hmm. She wanted to trade this coin that she just found. I was like, you know, this isn't like something that's trustworthy. I was trying <laughs> to explain to her like this coin, <laughs> mm-hmm. like they're they're just gonna take your money, right? And she course. bought it. She invested. It. I helped her with like it was a B and B transaction through Pancake Swap. I helped her. Out. She couldn't get the B and B because you know we have to get in like a super weird shady way. Doing okay. all those dumb token transfers, right? Mm-hmm. So Contracts. I gave her two dollars from B and B to like make her final transaction, and she invested twenty dollars into this crypto. And then next day, 
her crypto goes up to like 170 bucks <laughs> jesus <laughs> and uh, she was like oh here's your two dollars thanks for helping me <laughs> like what damn <laughs> yeah yeah. Success Crazy. story from Investor Kahaya. Mm-hmm. Yep. Invest your money into Kahaya. He'll flip it. Easily. Easily. I've but the thing is, I've also taken twenty dollars and had like forty cents come back from it. Like there's a few coins I've invested in that like completely tanked. Yeah. I forget which ones they were. It happens. You always, we always forget the losers. <laughs> yeah. remember the winner. It's like a gambling addict. Yeah. You always remember your wins but never your losses. There's this big thing, like Coinbase launched its own blockchain. Okay. And there's like a crap ton of shit coins coming up mm-hmm. from their blockchain. And it's like, I don't know, it's like, you can tell it's like some dudes that are just paying people to make websites, to make tokens for them. And mm-hmm. they're just like pumping the volume by having like all these fake wallets trade. And they're getting like hundreds of thousands of dollars a day mm-hmm. from other investors and they're slowly selling off their coins Mm -hmm. it's crazy shit that is pretty wild i was it's always so funny to me though like how they're making money off of a coin but at the end of the day they're just going to transfer it to usd yeah so it's like what are we doing it like yeah otherwise it's useless right just sitting in a digital wallet yeah you can't go buy food with a fucking shit coin you just you can't uh, maybe there are some workarounds of people that have digital pay and just crypto maybe they are able to just wiggle through life somehow maybe but you still have to convert it to usd at the end of the day right. to be able to do any transaction at least here right the cool thing that i found out when i had coinbase you could use coinbase for direct deposit Mm -hmm. and then have your direct deposit instantly be like bitcoin or ethereum Mm -hmm. so you get paid in that almost that's cool that's cool yeah you're right you do always have to transfer back into the native currency Mm -hmm. at least for transactions like let's say you have a coinbase card right and then you you're all your all your money's tied up in bitcoin but the moment you had to go to a gas station you're selling bitcoin to like have wow. us dollar yeah that's right? what i'm thinking like maybe you could get that advanced but i think for transactions you still use cash mm-hmm. usd i know that wasabi wallet which is like a oh yeah yeah you've yeah. heard of that yeah i've heard of wasabi wallet it's like the sketchy wallet right like <laughs> scammer wallet is it weirder than meta pay or yeah, meta, meta, meta yeah. mask meta pay meta really mask. meta mask i mean that's a thing yeah, is it yeah. the one with the fox is it based by facebook like no no, no. Okay. it's just like its own thing no. okay it's called meta mask though mm-hmm. not meta pay i think meta pay might actually be a thing okay Maybe. that seems real yeah that <laughs> seems real that facebook would do that shit yeah yeah i refuse to call them what are they are they meta? called meta yeah yeah that's why i confused it what were you gonna say? So yeah, Wasabi Wallet. They have like a feature. I was looking at the other day. Cause mm-hmm. I'm a scammer now. Cool. No, I'm not a scammer. But uh, you know, you have to show some legitimacy if you're trying to sell your your coin. It's so fun downloading all those digital wallet apps. You feel like a fucking scammer. Dude. You feel yeah, like, like a like scammer <laughs> <laughs> because you know using those apps, they are scams. Yeah. Am yeah. I wrong about that? Come on. And it's always like new user. And you just create an account for the first time. And you're like, oh, look at my flashy new wallet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're always nice. I remember, uh, sorry to cut you're you good. off. I remember having this app that uh, mined coins on my phone. It was just an app oh, that shit. I would like turn it on and it would just be in the background, like processing <laughs> on my phone. It was probably just like mining. <laughs> the biggest data waster. <laughs> That's crazy. It's probably just mining all my data and then <laughs> selling it to other people and be like, "You have coins." <laughs> like, Did you ever get any coins from it? Um, I got like, I think I got a hundred thousand, but the thing is, I never converted yet. Like, because okay. they're still in development phase. Oh so no! <laughs> I don't think they're ever getting out of development phase. Fair. Yeah, that's hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, Wasabi Wallet, you can buy hotel tickets plane tickets you can even like buy cars off of the wallet okay which is weird i didn't using use the feature. coins yeah like using bitcoin that's yeah. so crazy that's cool that's cool so just, you can almost fun- let fully function just is it with your, crypto is it like yeah. a is it a tap pay do you have a card it's like in your wallet like it's through your computer it's just 
you know, a way for scammers to get around. That's what I think it is. Like okay. a way is for it scammers. Is like a wallet escape. address or is it an actual just like the bank? It's a wallet address. Oh. So it's like, like if you had the MetaMask, it'd just be like a little section in the corner of your MetaMask. It's like, do you want to buy a car? And then click it. And I guess it just lets you buy a car. Damn. <laughs> what about the gas fees? They got the gas, gas fees, fees are crazy. Yeah. Though. Yeah. That's but if you have like a hundred Bitcoin, like you're not stressing that much. But isn't that so funny? If somebody didn't have crypto and they didn't actively use it all the time and we and you just like throw around gas fees, they're like, What the fuck are you talking about? Gas fees. Yeah. But like I remember when I first heard that concept that there is like a processing fee. So fucking annoying. It's one of the most annoying things ever. I agree. I like, fucking hate it. What, it. What's the point? Wasn't that the whole point of making this was to have free transactions without a credit card? Right. Like It's all a Ponzi scheme. It's all a Ponzi scheme. That's why I think the most legit way to like do crypto right now and be like a billionaire, trillion, the first trillionaire is mm-hmm. to have like a website where you're processing the transactions like Coinbase or you're taking fees from people when they create coins because there's so many coins being made every day and mm. then there's so many transactions happening so if you're getting a fee from either of those you're balling for sure easily yeah yeah that's the whole reason why elon's a billionaire isn't it because of um paypal Basically, right i yeah. mean like he had that he has that fee on top of it and paypal works great it's a great processing for payments yeah makes sense Everybody had PayPal for a while. Right. And true. everybody does have PayPal still. At least if they're like receiving or they're a vendor. We're right. going to be screwed when all these companies take a percent or two percent out of our paycheck every day or some shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, seriously. Just for usage or something like Fuck. that. Fuck. Mm-hmm. That suck. Yeah. I bet, the, I bet the top dogs definitely have to like have to talk to PayPal about that shit. Oh, shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Losing like a million dollars and you're transferring billions or some yeah, shit. Yeah, sure, sure. Damn. Yeah, I mean, crazy. at that point, you're wiring things, but... Yeah, that's true. But, like, I'm sure there's also, like... Like, if you have an online store, how are you how are you managing that online store? What's your, what's your middleman? You still have to, like, have conversations with that middleman on, like... I mean, I I'm sure Nike has processing conversations with those... With, um... I don't know. I've heard about Coach having that. Yeah. It's pretty fucked. Like, what do you mean? It's hard for big corporations. I assume Nike's the same way. Just to, like move your money around to get things done that need to get paid for. Mm-hmm. And it's almost like, man, like, I'm sorry I can't pay you right now. But, you know, since I'm such a reputable company and you know I have the money, you know I'll get to you eventually. Just take my word for it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't process shit that fast anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty baller when you as a company can just have like uh, a say and be like just go by my word mm-hmm. instead of any debt i'm sure there's some contracts but that money takes a while for sure it's even crazy. if you try to sue them like open a case on them it's hard i'm sure to win a case against them too fuck but um nice. i always wonder what apple does apple's supposed to have like the most cash out of any corporation where do they keep that cash you know like they have a gdp of countries and so multiple countries and so i just like wonder where they keep all their cash because cash is a scary thing where are you you really holding on to cash cash isn't cash like goes up up and down i don't know they built that apple hq thing but they can't liquidate that and sell it to somebody like that's yeah you're right that's just like that's dead weight if anything dude that's crazy why would you carry like paper cash. Paper cash. Yeah, they're supposed to have the most cash of any corporation. That's Let's look that one real. up. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to look how much I think cash. Think like J.P. Morgan or someone. Yeah, but I think that all of theirs is tied up in investments. How do they do? They, so they're just going to the bank and withdrawing. Like, I think they're trying to become a bank. If that makes sense. Imagine that'd be nuts. Apple Bank. You're the first one to tell me that. I already have card. Cash on hand damn i would actually love to have a bank i think that's like a, a dream of mine oh my god Holy a cash shit. on hand as of december 2023 73 billion according to apple's latest financial report the company has yeah 
That's, well, that's, that's insane. I think that's dumb in my opinion because if you go around allocating it, then there's less that you pay on taxes instead of hoarding it. Yeah, I guess. I guess. And you could always say it's expenses. Uh, what what am I trying to look up? Um, company. Yeah, that's what. A company with the most cash on hand. Is it going to be that like weird? Um, what is that? You remember that? Uh, Lucid Group is really on this. I used to own some of that. It's more. Where'd you down. see that? Uh, it was at the top. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to have to go out of this website. I, I hate see PLT. Peloton. Peloton, really? No, no, no. Uh, or maybe that like wasn't. Like Pointar or some shit. Google. Wow. Damn. Apple's like number Amazon, five. Microsoft. I don't know this broker group, Interactive Broker Group Incorporated. Probably some kind of bank. Yeah. But Damn, um, dude, that's crazy. Microsoft makes so much. Oh my think god! Think about all of their products, though. They have a console. They have TVs. computers. Well, I don't know if they have TVs. They have computers, phones. But yeah, if Software. Apple, if Apple Software. had a console, dude, I think they would be right next to each other. Yeah, that's fair. Amazon doesn't shock me. Google kind of shocks me, though. It's like, what's Google making money off of? Meta's all the way down here. Behind Damn, Apple. what is Google making money off of? I, ads are the only thing I can think of. Like Selling our data to other corporations. Also that one. Also that one, yeah. Yeah. Selling data is a huge one. And it turned out to be one of the fucking top, top things to sell. Really? Yeah, look. <laughs> yeah, you're right. What, <laughs> what are you talking about, yeah. dude? I mean, like, it, it's clearly the top thing to sell because you're, so they're number nice. one. Number one in cash on hand. Damn. I know. I know. I wish I had point, point oh nine B, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 0.09B. That Jesus would be cool. Christ. That would be nice. I would go for point zero 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 one b you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would too. I would fucking too. You're so right. Yeah. God. I'd, I'd take a percent of uh, yeah, I'd take like point oh 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 percent of a B. Like yeah. let's be honest, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. a percent, yeah. <sighs> but I don't know. Mm. I did learn something about meta or Facebook. What about it? Um, Mark Zuckerberg was saying in an interview, he was like saying that all of the ideas or at least inventions that they make over there is open source. So like after they make it, it's open source to uh, everyone. Interesting. So they don't patent anything you're saying? No, I guess it's open to developers. Interesting. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. And then you're also he saying talking, that like... He was talking about... His most recent, like, VR goggles. Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, it's all open source. Interesting. So anyone can just design or develop any attachments or whatever the fuck. Is that, like, following the uh, Tesla ideal, too? Because there's, like, a few things that they designed with the with the batteries that they made open source. Really? Yeah, same thing with Toyota, too, I thought. Mm. I thought you, Toyota does that a bunch. What? You really got to be there, though. Like, you really got to have... The right materials, the right machines to make the VR goggles. And the incentive, right? You got to have yeah, the financial that financial incentive true. to actually benefit from it. The only people who actually like, like if you're just doing that as a private American, you're like, you got to, yeah, you have to have all that equipment. You had to have the, uh, the knowledge and the whereabouts to be able to produce it. And then at the end of the day, it would just been cheaper to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. I Makes feel sense. like the most like handy thing would be like software for sure. Software being mm. open source is like, I think the best. Because you can just copy and paste that shit. Yeah, Oof. literally. That's fucking so nice and so easy. I mean, there's sometimes I've like done software on the website where I've just copied and pasted the software and it just like magically works. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice. Mm -hmm. It is. Ex it's super nice. It's nitty gritty though. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, I'm surprised Shopify ain't up here. <laughs> I know, dude, I know. Charles Schwab is number... I wish I actually ranked them. American Express, Ford, Exxon, uh, General Motors, Tesla. Tesla. Tesla doesn't have much on hand. Hmm. Johnson & Johnson. Mm-hmm. I need to apply Navid- there. Nav- Navidia? Navidia? Nvidia. Nvidia. Yeah. GE. They yeah. Make, they make chips. I heard that GE has been putting a lot of contaminants in the Ohio River. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on? I've heard that a few times too. Oh, don't be a whistleblower, Kahaya. Oh, didn't they just like like murder a whistleblower recently? A GE? No, did? that was Boeing. Boeing, yeah. That Boeing murdered. Watch murder? out, they might. Watch your water. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> me so taking a fucking shit. wire sample. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's just sniping me from the fucking condos. On the and they got like a GE little like, oh, nameplate on the side. Dude, it, won't they be, would. it won't be Cincinnati's water. It'll just be a hitman. <laughs> God damn. Um, hired by GE. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> unmarked police. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. gosh. They They'll they would be the ones that have like a like a plain gun, like a yeah. big ass fucking gun. Mm. And they'll just say you were protesting. Some shit. <laughs> and so you know it's illegal for engineers to protest. Protest well, why? It's not illegal, it's just against their code of conduct. Yeah, no shit. Come on. That's you think that's crazy. revolutionary? You can't protest if you're an engineer. That's but nuts. I mean, you're like you're you're risking your job, right? You can get another job. Exactly. But that's the risk you're taking, though, isn't it? But then, like, you could, for you know, since it's against your conduct, you could like never be able to get a job again because you won't be an engineer. Oh, they take away your they take away your license because I, I know there so, yeah. there are some like engineering licensing. I assume like, so, yeah. right? And so interesting. That's sad. Okay, that's cool. Let the corporation win, huh? Yeah. Gotta bow down. <laughs> they go bow that down. Extreme. Bow down. And I have a question, though. What's up? So do most... This is the right number, right, for how much cash they actually have on hand? Supposedly. If so tradingview.com is correct. I have a question. Hmm. How much money do you think Fort Knox has in gold bars? <laughs> you think it's more than most of these corporations? No. Billions? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Like I'd say thirty cap, thirty thirty billion. I think ten billion at max. In the old How much it, weight is that? Or how much even is that like? Like a couple tons. Couple couple tons of gold. We should Google it though. Maybe more. Maybe like a maybe a hundred tons of gold. I feel like we should do the conversion. I want to see that number. Because I remember I was watching a history channel thing, so Pause me if I'm <laughs> if the History Channel's wrong. You could just they, say how much does ten billion dollars of gold weigh? Well, let's start with Fort Knox, though. Yeah. How much money is in Fort Knox? No fucking wow. way! Oh, so it does beat every single company. Million troy Holy. ounces. So as of 31st of July 2020, Fort Knox holds 147 million troy ounces of gold reserves with a market value of 290 billion U.S. dollars, representing 56.35% of the gold reserves of United States. So that's only half? 59% of gold reserves. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little that, over half. So that means all the other reserves are spread out. Golly. So they almost have about, if you just double that number, that's like almost 300 billion. What I said 300. No. I saying double. 600 no. billion. Almost 600 billion. A little billion. under 600 billion yeah. we have in gold. So we clearly overspent. <laughs> Damn, yeah. We, we have cl- a little under 600 we million. Clearly overspent. How where um, but where is the gold um reserve in the US? For Knox. Dude, we should go there. It's close by. It is close by. Do you think by. we can get in or do you think they have the snipers on top? I think they have snipers on <laughs> bottom <Damn>. too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the most heavily guarded military base. <laughs> Fuck. 
Yeah, they don't they don't say where. That's interesting. Besides Fort Knox. So but the thing is, I believe that there is no gold at Fort Knox. Do you think it's not real? Yeah. That's cap. There's no way. Do you want bad? I mean, you're right that no visitors are permitted. Right. So that And is this is the only photo they have. Yeah. Questionable. That's questionable. I've never believed that there was money in Fort Knox. Because why would they tell us? Wouldn't they just move it to a better, more, more secure location? It's too heavy. No, it's not. Take a couple. You take bars at a time. If you take 10 bars at a time, you'd be done in 15 years. Okay. You okay. know? Like, I don't think that that's a crazy. That's not a crazy statement. Damn, I really want to break in there. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I know. Like Doesn't that look like so much fucking gold? Some Indiana Jones mission right but You here. guys don't understand. You guys that don't. That is like the only picture. That's oh. kind of bullshit. But you don't understand how heavy it is until you pick up a gold bar. You should click that uh, picture. Damn. What are those posters hanging up? That's pretty cool. Oh, um, up an image. New just tab. one. One. Just one. That is pretty strange. And you know how Why reinforced these fucking things shelves? are? Yeah, these shelves <laughs> must be so goddamn strong. Some weird posters, though. Yeah, I wonder why they have that. That's all I can zoom in. That's a pretty poor photo. wonder if this no one's cap, better. No cap, I do want to visit a gold reserve one day because these places just look crazy. Yeah, I can't find a better version of that photo. This is wild, though. wonder what happens if you sneeze on them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do they depreciate? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. That's hilarious. This is, yeah, this looks like a jail. It does look like a jail. Damn, that looks scary as fuck. No one's. Oh, we're getting in, in and we're out. getting out. But guys, you know, you know that it's got to be fifteen like feet or fifteen stories, ground. fifteen stories down. I bet you have to change five elevators. Here, let's look up. I the bet schematics. you have to go through a fucking. <laughs> <thing>. <laughs> let's look up the schematics. <laughs> I bet you have to go through four a different. Moat. Doors that are 15 feet thick yeah. before you even get on the doorstep of the both turnkey <laughs> tile. Like we <laughs> and I bet you have to have both of them to fly in on the same day, the people who hold the keys. And oh I bet they're God. from LA and New York, and I bet they're never allowed to be on the, <laughs> on the property at the same day. You um, know they're not allowed to be on the property on the same day, who, the, two co- the two key holders. Damn, you're right. I and mean, then I don't know. God, I could I could keep 290 talking. Two hundred ninety hey, billion. I know a guy though. There's a guy uh-huh. that picks locks on YouTube. I've, I'm sure you've heard of him. <laughs> There's no lock that he hasn't <laughs> been able to pick. You know what I'm saying? And then like oh, anything technology wise, yeah. Flipper zero. For sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just hacking. All right. We Remember have to that get one ethical. We're gonna hacker? have to do those gate walks. Do you know what I'm talking about? Where you have to match the your the walk of the person who's permitted allowed into the <laughs> building. So they'll do like a, a test of how you walk. They'll do the, your thumbprints, they'll do your retina scans and they might do a saliva test too. I don't know. Holy I'm just shit. throwing That's shit out lot. there. That's I'm just throwing shit out there. You're talking about the only gold reserve in America. You think they would put some locks on it? Yeah, they they definitely do. Yeah, and lasers. It has to be some and way. microwaves. <laughs> Phase through the wall. Probably or fucking X ray your body to make sure you have the <laughs> same correct <laughs> skeletal system. Holy shit! <laughs> like God damn, dude, you're not ta- you you're not getting in. I gotta get in, dude. <laughs> Gotta get in. I need some gold bars. What if you dude, just I get in there like and there's like it. three gold bars and that's it? I think th- I think there's no money there, dude. I really believe there's no money because why would they tell us? Could you imagine if someone broke in there and there's nothing there and they left and then they're like, "This guy stole all the gold in Fortnite," <laughs> <laughs> and they like beat you f- in a undisclosed <laughs> location for Literally. the rest of your life, asking where the gold is. <laughs> If you want my treasure. I couldn't find it, bro. I couldn't find it. I wasn't there. And they keep beating you. The lie detector says you've seen gold. (laughs) Oh, shit. And we have video footage of you in a full room of gold. (laughs) Oh, shit. You got him with the one piece shaker. If you want my treasure, you have to go and find it. Every American would go crazy. Yeah. Trying to find it. Yeah. I'm trying to find some uh, Cortez's gold. 
Cortez's wonder, jewel. I wonder mm. if it is all just it could some some of it could just be really really old gold coins. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Damn, I'm, I'm sure they. I bet they did keep like Roman coins. I bet they do keep a lot of Roman and Greek coins. That That'd seems pretty normal. I'm so salty. Like, let me just engineer there, just for like a couple of days. What are you like, engineering? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop. I want to see the engineering gold. Engineering how much shinier he can get the gold bars. Yeah. The gold right polishing. Lighting. Gold polishing. I yeah. bet that is a. I bet that actually is a job. I bet there is one guy who goes bar by bar, with a cloth. That you want to be me. About that. That's what you want. Oh, I just had to take it home to examine it and make just sure dust that. Just wipe it. Mm-hmm. I bet there's an x-ray machine that actually tests the gold, too, just to make sure it's real. Something like that, yeah. I can yeah. see it. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of things you can do to test gold. Mm. Nuts. I know. It is pretty nuts. Um, it's a fun topic. It's a fun topic. You guys want to talk about the beef? The beef. The cows. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. What do you guys? What, what's your guys' opinions? My opinion is, it is a twenty v one. Really, twenty v one? Huh? Yeah, it Everyone is. is battling Drake. Yeah. Because he's on top, though. And that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone I, hates the number one guy. Yeah, and he all, his songs are going number one. They are. Yeah. You know, he's like, number one on he's trending. He's not the underdog okay. anymore. He's not the he's not the underdog. That's very true. No, he's the mainstream. He's the top dog, yeah. Straight ooh, from the grassy. Ooh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, I you, that whole situation, like I uh who started it? What song started it? Was it the was it the first person shooter? Was I that think the first song that's it was Drake's song? Yeah, on that album. Yeah, first person shooter with um J. Cole. Is it the heart? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Was that on his all album that was like all dogs yeah yeah okay yeah. for all the dogs yeah yeah i yeah. think that's where it started yeah okay because he's like you know who's your top three yes yeah right. evan kendrick got on to metro broom and futures album mm-hmm. and i think that track was called like that like that or am i crazy okay yeah that was with future and kendrick and okay and so what was that on there he was just like I'm not part of your big three. It's just big me. Mm, big meme right there. Gotcha. So he's like, I'm number one. Sure. I can't be in the same competition with these guys. Interesting. Interesting. But can <laughs> we can we be honest, though? Mr. Morale, what a shit album. Come on. What a shit what? album. I liked it. Really? For sure, yeah. Really? I like a couple of songs. The, the one part, the arguing. When, it, when it dropped, I just didn't ever listen to it for the longest. I hated it at 95. But I've been slowly which, coming around which to one it. N95 was the hit on it. I probably like that one. It was. I don't remember which one I liked. Mm. It was like I liked the Baby Keem one. Baby Keem had a good song on there, and it was only him. Maybe mm. Kendrick wrote it, but I don't know. And uh, yeah. Oh no! I think the song that I liked on that album was "Count Me Out." Okay. Is that okay. you remember that one? Mm-mm. No, let me pull it up. It's like I love when you count me out. I love when you count me. Yeah. <laughs> they been Kendrick having some nowadays. crazy back and forth. So yeah. I can't believe they dropped them so frequent. Like these songs are coming out daily, back to back. No one's leaving the studio. Yeah. <laughs> no one's leaving the studio. <laughs> so Everyone's true. stuck in the studio now. Yeah. It was. Um, I don't know. N95. I didn't like. The World Stepper, Worldwide Steppers, I didn't like. Die Hard was okay. I thought, I thought World Steppers was okay. Um, I don't remember I was a, much. I was a big fan of the Savior interlude. That was fucking awesome. I was a big fan of that. Savior was okay. I like the Rich interlude with uh, Kodak Black. Yeah. That was fire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that is a great one. Yeah. I like Kodak Black, too. Kodak Black, he's... Yeah. He's al- he's always reserved in my heart, no matter what he does. <laughs> he's wild, man. He's poor, man. He's 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 questionable, that's for sure. But yeah, I don't know. I just didn't like this album that much. This sure. was just okay for me. It like, didn't speak to me. It didn't speak to me either. And but I hate to say it, bro. Like certified lover boy, fucking the um, 
But you're the a twenty one, fan. the twenty one Savage collab, if and Drake then for, for all the dogs. No, you couldn't. He's Canadian. It's oh, over. Fuck. I'm if never. Drake ran for president. Though, you would vote for him. No, I wouldn't. He's what? Canadian. <laughs> He's Canadian. If he was American, we can't even have that conversation. Okay. Okay. We can't even have. It. If Lil Wayne was was running for president, I would not. I would not vote for him. Fair. Okay. Um. But yeah, yeah. But okay, okay. So what was, so after the future, this song, right? What was what was after that? J Cole. J Cole dropping a song, he dropping his that al- album project. Yeah, might delete later. Yeah. Mhm. What about it? I don't know. It wasn't really a diss. It was just like a a threat. To. I think it was to Kendrick. I think it was more like. Was what it are the you seven doing? seven minute drill? That that one? I don't really remember like which. He actually song. did delete a song on there. Did you Ooh, notice that? I did not. Um, yeah, he did delete a song off of that album. Might delete later. And uh, I actually l- fucked with some of these songs. Like I did too. I did too. There was one that was like really crazy. At I the completely end. missed out on this album. That yeah. one, the truth one. Oh yeah, tr- that one was so weird. Try the truth in Ibiza. Ibiza. Yeah, that shit was weird. Huh. Ibiza? 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 Yeah, I don't... That's a weird title. It, uh, it felt like some Illuminati shit. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. That's fair. But some of these songs were really cool. Like, this one's really good. I liked Sticks and Stones. Okay. And then, um, yeah, like, Hun Rabbits was good. And she was pretty fire. Crocodile, Crocodile Tears was pretty good. And the intro is okay. Um, I don't know. It wasn't like I didn't when, once J Cole released this. I wasn't like, oh my god, thank you. These songs are fucking platinum. Like these songs are gold. No, I don't know. They were just okay. Dude, that one of Central C. I really wish that Central C would have gone harder on it. Really? Yeah. Because I like Central C's flow, but I, don't, I haven't listened to any of his music except for that one that he has of Drake. Mm-hmm. I've so. never seen this dude before. Do you like him? He's on a West Side song. Is he? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I've never he's heard like of this a guy. British okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's on. I don't but know. His, his bars were like, I don't know. It wasn't his bars. It was his delivery was just kind of weak, I think. Was it? Yeah. Well, also on that song was Bass. It's like, man, I'm really struggling to like Bass. He's he's just like, he's just not there for me. Fair. I, I don't know. Yeah. But, um... And then, but who dropped the first diss song? Was it was it Kendrick or was it Drake? Like, per, like personal song. Mm-hmm. Was it Push Ups or was it uh, Kendrick's? It was Push Ups, I think. Push Ups was the first like song. Oh uh, well, non-feature, but Kendrick, yeah, he was the one that got the rebuttal in with the future song. Okay, so you're saying Push Ups and then the future song? No, I'm saying. Kendrick with the, uh, what was it? Not like us. Was that the first one? I thought Euphoria was the first Euphoria. One. Yeah. Well, was that's it, the first legitimate one without a feature. Yeah, no yeah. feature. So I guess, so I guess it was Push Ups and then Euphoria, yeah. right? And then was it maybe Meet the may, Meet the Grams? Same day. Same day, and then um, Drake dropped the Family, Family Matters. Right. Yeah. And then he dropped the Not Like Us. That is crazy, though, that you... Wait, p- was the push-ups on the one where he had the AI? I don't think so. There was one Drake song where he had uh, Tupac and... Was it Tupac? A Tupac reference? No, it was like an AI voice of... I know Snoop Dogg was there. I know it. what you're talking about. I think Are Tupac you talk- was there, too. Are you saying the little... In push-ups, towards the end of the song, there's like, what top five you smoking on, Kendrick? Are you talking about that? No, it was like, oh, like you the know whole what I'm beginning. About? Yeah, but no, he's talking about something else. Drake really was going to use Tupac's AI voice. Mm. There's actually song. a video of Snoop Dogg reacting to, to it, and he mm-hmm. was like, I said, what? It was fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know, you could probably find it on YouTube. Okay, okay. So Drake using like Snoop Tup- Dogg's reaction to Drake's AI song. He just, it was like at night. 
bathroom. Now he's like just oh, yeah. getting blown up. Is this this one? Yeah. Think yep. it's this? Yep. I know it wasn't a minute long. Let me see. I'm probably going to fill you in. Oh my god. A new diss song toward Kendrick. They did what? When? How? Are you sure? Be sure to like, comment, <laughs> and subscribe. That was it. <sighs> Death row. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> He's done with all. <laughs> Bro's gone. <laughs> Why not? Everybody calling my phone, blowing me up. What the f What happened? <laughs> What's going on? I'm tired already for him. I'm going back to bed. Good night. That was it. That was it? Yep. He probably woke up after getting his phone blown up, being like, there's all this rat beef going on. Mm -hmm. He's like, I really don't care. Yeah. Yeah, because of... <laughs> Yeah, it's too oh, much. Oh shit, man. the Kanye one. The Kanye one. That yeah. shit was crazy too. Yeah. There's really a remix. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I actually have to look at. Um, you know what? I don't want to play it. Because uh, God, I gotta listen. You know to what? I had to get the hooligans up here. Gonna take Damn, it. he put it on his home page. Yeah. Oh, he put two of them. Okay. What the fuck? Really? Yeah. I like how he does his covers too. I'm a big fan of how he does that. Yeah. He's wildin'. Mm hmm Yeah. Did you see how he put his um, Spotify thing as a goat? Yeah, I did see that. That's really funny. I got to show that. Whenever I go Kanye, it says Kanye mix, and it's just a picture of a goat. <laughs> what the <laughs> <Yeah>. fuck? <laughs> Billy. It's, it's, it's like fucking Billy. It's just a goat. Have you listened to this song, Carnival? Oh, yeah. Uh, so many memes. So many memes. What do you think about... Him, he's a. F How old is Kanye? What is he in his forties? Forties, uh, maybe touch. He might touch fifty soon, mm, right? Soon. He's soon. not fifty yet, but he's like forty-four or something. Okay, and that song, it, there's a pretty interesting lyric in that song. Um, she ride that dick like carnival, right? She something something like on a roll, right? right? And so it's so good. She's on a roll. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, it's just like funny that. how he's rapping about on a roll girls you know girls in like you would think he's talking about girls in college you would hope he's talking about girls in college <laughs> i mean this is a guy that made college dropout you know what i mean yeah 20 years ago <laughs> that's <laughs> true 20 you're right 20 plus years ago 20 plus years ago he's Maybe. like he made college dropout bro like who, who are you talking about <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious i just said that i didn't even realize <laughs> yeah everyone justifying him because he made college dropout yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. hilarious mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah it's pretty know, pedophile if you ask me what yeah i don't know like it's i okay. think kendrick's got the wrong guy i think he's oh really talking god. about kanye that's crazy i don't know that's my thought yeah we need to see some more spicier beef from yeah. the Drake and Kendrick part? was not was what I was expecting. I think there's just no substance to it. Yeah. They're just like, I need like... There's nothing for them to catch on to and, la and latch. It seems like they both lied about their children. Yeah. You know, they both oh, lied about lying their... Lying about each other? Just lying about having children. About trying to keep a low-key life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, living, in, living in cities that they're not from. <laughs> and they get so butthurt about that one. They're like, I'm yeah, not in New York. Kendrick is, I'm not in Austin. Kendrick is calling Drake a colonizer and shit. Like, that shit was crazy. Yeah. But come on, dude. What are you talking about? That's uh, Isn't that so strange, though? Dude, he got his... Like, Meek Mill and Kendrick are both, like, getting on him for being mixed. Shit is crazy. So, I like the Kanye it's and fucked. Diddy beef more, honestly. Kanye and Diddy beef was fun. Yeah. I liked that. Yeah. Because you're like, yeah, fuck Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he, that's the thing about Carnival is he, that Kanye says he's Bill Cosby. I'm Bill Cosby. I'm Diddy. I'm somebody else, too. I forget who he said. I don't but remember. It's fucking crazy. I wonder why he did that. No. Just thoughts. Just Nuts. thoughts. I don't know. He's fucking the rap game up. <laughs> yeah. <It's> going crazy. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrible.
Yeah. Mm-mm. That's there pretty much a, all they got. Who who won? Who won? I feel like it I'm depends s- on what like type of music you like to listen to. No one really had any crazy disses or anything. I mean, mm-hmm. I think Kendrick stuff was really disrespectful. I yeah. think Drake was really smooth with it. Like mm-hmm. he's, he has some really slick bars, and I think. I think Future. you hit it on the fucking nose, by the way. Yeah, you did. You hit it on the fucking nose. Because Kendrick was disrespectful, and it just like yeah. was him ranting. And Drake was slick, and it, his songs were songs. Right. His songs were actually songs. Yeah, Kendrick was talking most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Instead of actually rap rap battling. Mm-hmm. And I, I need to say this on fucking mic. And I've, I know I already said it to you two, but I really feel like Kendrick is turning into Eminem. And the way his like voice is changing, and he's like trying to change his flow, and he's like trying to be a different rapper, and it like sounds like Eminem all over again, like after the Reborn album, I think is what it's called. But um, yeah, Eminem just like changes his whole like voice and flow style, and I think Kendrick's just getting washed up. You know, it's funny. Hmm. Um, Cynthia thinks that JID uh, is the new Kendrick based off of his voice. Okay, I kind of agree with that one. I can okay. See it. I could see that. Because, I mean, J.I.D.'s, he's fit for GOAT status, you know? Yeah. But like, the, at least from our generation, there's not that many rappers that are that good besides him, really. Yeah. And I think he's even touching, like, 30, which is pretty wild. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that idea. It's just, like, this album was, I wish it was a little better. I wish yeah. this. I wish the Forever Story was a little better. Damn, I didn't know he had fucking Kenny Mason on there. Kenny Mason's a god. I love Kenny Mason. I just listened to it. He just dropped an album like a couple weeks ago. Did he really? Or an EP or something? Good for him. It's pretty fire. I'm a big fan of him. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I have to listen to this. Um, Kenny Mason has a couple good songs. Yep. Yep. Um, I like Money Signs. That one goes hard as fuck. Really? Yeah. It's mm. kind of like, it's not like a, I don't the know, it's like a hype song. I don't know. It's not like a, anything crazy lyrical or anything, but right. the, it's um, fun to listen to. The Andrella Code Rap? Dude. Which song? Gosh, I was a big fan of one song. Was it like his blow up song? No, I don't know. Maybe it was forever, but I don't think it was forever. There was one song that I was such a big fan of. And Doesn't um, he have a song that's literally just called Angelic Hood Rat? Angelic Hood Rat. That's, that's what I'm actually talking Is that song. That song is fire. That song is, um, God, it's great. And um, I wonder if I can find it. On my computer, I can't find shit. Yeah, but like he's like in the mosh pit yeah 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 oh, right yeah, yeah that, that song's fucking amazing but oh, I, yeah, I remember that one I, don't, I can't find it right now yeah but that beat too is amazing and uh yeah I can't find it but it doesn't matter yeah that song Angelo Code Rats are fucking fire it was hard yeah he's also got a couple other songs too that I'm like I really respect I, I like the people who are like I want to Ford a Mercedes Benz, you know, like, <laughs> like the basic <laughs> stuff. Um, I like what I like to go back to the basics sometimes because I don't know, man, I can't afford a Mercedes Benz yet. Kind of bummed out. It yeah. is what it is. I know. I know. We're on that SoundCloud rapper budget. Yeah. <laughs> <Get out>. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I might have a better budget than a SoundCloud rapper, but the thing is I need to upgrade to a, to a, a little bit better. <laughs> Any upgrade my lifestyle? I would like them. Mm. Speaking of SoundCloud rappers, did you guys hear about the BBL Jersey track that uh, Metro Boomin dropped? Mm-mm. It's like a just audio. It's I've actually, been, I think it's free. I think we could actually listen to it. Okay, on I've YouTube. Been hearing about this shit, BBL yeah. Jersey. What is it? It's B- a. It's just like a. Uh, BBL. It's like a diss on. D- Oh, B- yeah, it's a BBL. Drizzy. And okay. like random SoundCloud rappers are jumping on it. There's no lyrics to it. It's just a beat. Is there anything I should trust? Just, just this, this, yeah. This is w- scary, but I believe in it. Okay. There's an ad. And that's, this is literally it. It's just a beat. And 
just keeps going <laughs> on and on and on. Baby yell, Drizzy. <laughs> and then SoundCloud rappers are jumping on it. And Metro Beam was like, whoever has like the best uh, mm-hmm. first <laughs> name gets a free beat. Okay. Okay. From him. I got gotcha. you. That makes sense. Wow. He dropped a full video. Yeah, yes, I think sir. it's him. It's him picking up the minivan from Good Kid, Mad City. Oh damn! I'm crushing he, it. No way. He, that's the actual van. No, like, I don't think it's the actual. Oh, okay, one. okay. That that would crazy. be so baller if it was. I saw <laughs> wow. a meme. I saw a meme about this guy. Was like, have you seen the video yet? Have you seen the video, bro? Yeah, that was hilarious. Man. This is interesting. That's interesting. The hype around this whole situation doesn't make sense to me. Um, I just don't get it. I don't get the whole. I just don't like. It's I don't get like, any of it. You know, it, it honestly is like the top three rappers. Mm-hmm. You know, battling it out, and now we're getting like being the bystander is great. Right. Like, all we're getting is just like some low key quality music mm-hmm. just being thrown around. Sure, it might be a diss, but like at least we're listening to something, especially if like Kendrick, you know, Kendrick. It's fresh. Hasn't dropped in so long. You I know. know. What I mean? like, yeah, it's very true. And I like how like, dry, what is it? Like click and drop 50. What? Drop and give me 50. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. Like I love Sounds that crazy. shit. And I, I feel like um, Drake is also calling drop, out like, drop, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> drop a 50 bag and, yeah and That's um crazy. i feel like he just is i hope all of the top dog guys like drop a diss song because i feel like it's really calling is that that particular like drop and give me 50 is he asking for 50 million views is that what he's asking for that's how i perceive Let's it see. drop and give me 50 that let's see it let's see if you can drop and give me 50 Ooh. You know what I mean? Like that's that's how I take that diss every how time. How many views does he have on this one? Sixteen. Yeah, man. yeah. They're close. It's like sixteen nine. So. Mhm. Yeah, and I wonder. Let's see the stats on this one. Um. Let's see if it's. Okay. Yeah, sixty thousand per hour, and then your for Euphoria is like getting forty eight per hour. Damn. No, 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 I love the Euphoria beat. Yeah. That one goes so hard. But it's so 2010s. You know that. Yeah. It's so yeah. 2010s. And that's true. the funny part is that the, the we, we can do it for a second. Like a saint. This saint been a- the, yeah. um, the, the horns? I don't know. I feel like the horns are so old. All he needs in there is a fucking like crow or some beep, shit. Beep, beep. <laughs> yeah. 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 I just feel like the horns are so top dog 2010s they're over the top yeah yeah i just don't i don't know i mean i i, I let's get let's i want to say it again i love kendrick love kendrick a bunch but like i don't know she i just feel good. like him calling him calling for his death is really weird kendrick calling for drake's death is really know, strange is crazy to me too like it, it so what happens you guys are just you, rapping so what happens when you make fun of someone's shoe size man I, and when you're making fun of our, <laughs> his height too i feel like every time i rap i just speak over his head like that's <laughs> that's so crazy damn <laughs> that's so crazy like, huh since he is and short. drake's not that tall by the way i just want to say that he's like what 510 he's not yeah. even he doesn't even he's go not six <laughs> he, is, he is a short guy. He definitely He's has to have that Napoleon complex. That's what it's called, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get, sure. know, they just get they get pissed. Short people, you know. Right, the short man complex for yeah. sure. Yes, yeah, short man syndrome. Yep. You yeah. know, it's funny though. Before all this beef started, one of my favorite Kendrick features was on a Drake song. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it was called, but him and him and Drake have a great song together. Um, From not money take, trees. Take care. On Take Care? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, I guess. Okay, okay. But Ke- it's like a Kendrick uh, monologue, isn't it? Yeah. Um, And he doesn't... I don't even think he's on it. Like, I don't even think Drake's on that song. No, I don't think Drake's on it. Yeah, he's not that on one, that song. Yeah. That one's amazing. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. But what a funny title. Buried Alive Interlude. That's very interesting. Damn. I want, damn, I wonder what... That's very interesting. Yeah, and Kendrick saying that like you better be dra- like you better be dressing like Daft Punk, like with the helmets, because we're gonna shoot at you. 
Like, and that's an old reference because you remember when uh, Pusha and Drake had beef right. and he was like, I'll shoot you in the chest or something like that. I'll shoot you in the vest or something along those lines. And then Is that like from Degrassi or some shit? Like, is that a reference to that? I don't know. But, I, but what I'll say is that I was listening to Summer 16 and he was like, you know, you know. Why would I wear a vest when I expect you to aim for the head? Correct. Yeah. And so I think that's an old, I think he's pulling that disc all the way back from a decade ago. Damn. You know, like you better dra- dress up like Daft Punk. So I don't know. Just thoughts. Just thoughts. Yeah, I don't that's know crazy. why Kendrick <clears throat> says half the shit. Like some of it seems like it has a meaning, but it really doesn't. Yeah, I really feel like Kendrick thinks he's so much more ly- lyrical than he is. I th- you I know think what I mean? He is super lyrical, though. I just. I think he has a lot of bars that like. Go but are you gonna crazy. say I'm stupid because I can't read in between the lines? I see you what know you're what I mean? saying. Yeah, it's like, like too much. It's too much, dude. Yeah. And if you think that the average person is gonna get that, They're I think not. you're stupid. Yeah. Right. Sure, because agree. you can't just say I'm stupid because I can't read into the lines. Like, I just feel like he's stupid for going too deep and not realizing it's too deep. I don't know. Sometimes it's like, I think it's kind of like an inside joke. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, only Drake would know for real. Right. But then it's like, does Drake really know or is it too deep even for him? And that makes his bar, like, weak, Mm -hmm. like, shitty just because it's like, he's throwing, I don't know, it's like. There's too many layers. Yeah. Isn't there too many layers? It is very layered. layered. Yeah, and I, I hate I hate all the layers, and I also hate how I just hate it. I just hate him calling for Drake's death. And it's like, and also like him calling out his family members and meet the Grams. Does That's, he actually have a daughter? Does Drake really have a daughter? I don't know. I don't and know either. But can I tell you from what transpires from all this? I really, really hope that Drake doesn't turn into a uh, a Diddy. You know, having all those parties. Uh, he, having like sex can. with minors no you don't I, think so no i hope not it's because not, i no. really don't want my hero to fall <laughs> like, can I tell you? like if he turns into diddy i would be really what if he dip- turns into a young thug and he's just on trial like all day every day oh, fuck. yeah that's true that's such a sad situation for young thug is he getting caught with a rico is i don't that? know what he's doing okay. he's just sitting on trial every day is what i see yeah that's very true like, I think you can, I feel like, I mean, I think people should have the right. Like, if I did something wrong, I I would let people take me to court. Oh, it, oh please. Young, young thug charges. Uh, the 56 count indictment claims that the members were involved in murder, attempted murder, armed robbery, investigative assault, or aggravated assault, excuse me, with a deadly weapon, theft, uh, drug dealing, carjacking and witness intimidation notably the indictment portrays thug (laughs) portrays young thug as something of a mob boss okay yeah (laughs) i've been seen (laughs) with this photo (laughs) Uh, he he wears women's clothes can we can we fuck (laughs) off (laughs) can we watch this video you cool with that sure it's two minutes break the generational hopelessness and despair for musical artists. Gangster rap is a subset of rap. That was the most... What does he know about gangster rap? At that time. And Jeffrey would listen to beat after beat after beat. These are billions of musical chords that he listened to. And... <laughs> Imagine getting a lawyer that good. <laughs> Jeffrey would listen to beat after beat after beat. These are billions of musical chords that he would listen to. He tried and forced himself to speak fast within the beat and rhythm. Who is his lawyer, dude? <laughs> he is mucking up the water. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Yeah. I've been seeing videos of like his people's like coming on trial and being like, yeah, I did this. I committed this crime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got kicked out of the group because I am stupid and I committed this crime. And then Young Thug, like, made things right, gave back the money I stole, you know, fixed the situation. Okay. I kind of feel like the people that Young Thug was associated with are, like, just shitty people. Okay. Okay. Like, upco- it was probably, like, you know, like how Drake picks up upcoming SoundCloud rappers. He mm-hmm. probably picks up people in those spots. Mm-hmm. 
tries to bring him up and then Gunna. they bring the ga- the <laughs> the baggage from their from their past yeah from how yeah. they were raised with them and they act a fool and now yeah. it's like on young thug yeah i could understand that he's probably getting tried for association yeah sure right like because he's like because he's getting gangsters for gangster rap and right. then he's you know getting caught with some gangster activity and that's an issue yeah yeah that makes sense i don't really well, feel no, like he's can... a link ring leader of like of mob bossery like come on <laughs> now he can finally rap about being in court and on trial yeah yeah it's true it's very but true that's not incriminating <laughs> that's hilarious hey at least he can't get in trouble again <laughs> I, that's why I always wonder how West Side and like um, Griselda. I always wonder how they're like the New York group between Benny the Butcher, West Side Gun, and Kanye. <laughs> Kanye was it the Conway. Machine? Conway. That's right. It's not Kanye. Uh, yeah, Conway. Conway. And um, Conway the Machine. Is that right? And um, I always wonder how they talk about you know. I was. Wh- Traveling in between state lines, <laughs> shit like there's, that. There's, there's so many, there's so many lines of like them admitting to, like, trafficking, trafficking gun or trafficking guns, trafficking drugs, trafficking fucking. That's crazy. I, you know. Yeah, I don't even want. I, it's incriminating for me to talk about it, dude. I get but scared. I just listen to his music. You know, it feels like I'm committing crimes when I listen to West Side Gun. That's hilarious. <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> and Doing so, drive-bys. I wonder how he like gets away with like admitting to it, or like you know maybe he can't get tried for it twice, and so he already did the time, and so now he can talk about it. I don't know. I don't know how they, yeah, how they get away with like speaking about their crimes. They must get it copyrighted or something. Who yeah, knows? but that doesn't stop the United States government from going after you. I don't know. Yeah, you're right. It's very it's very interesting how they. Talk about them doing crimes. Imagine how, like, like imagine committing a petty theft, like pe- not a theft, but like a petty crime, like not as in like petty theft, but like something stupid, okay. like something like unnoticeable. Maybe you, Are you forgot still- to pay taxes or something, okay. and then you cross the border from Kentucky to Ohio, sure, or vice versa, mm-hmm. and then it's like, oh, it's a big deal. It's, you're going federal, guy. Mm-hmm. You know, like, <laughs> shit. okay. Okay. Uh, that does sound terrifying. No, let's put no. That's not an example. <laughs> that's not, that's how it not works. a good example. Let's put it. Um, uh, good night. Uh, one of West Side Gun's songs with. Um, do you remember who that guy is? I forget what his name is. <coughs> I have to. I have to pull it up. Um. Good night. Uh, with yeah, Slick Rick. That's right. And so in this song, they talk about. Um, Westside talks about getting robbed of some bricks, you know. Uh, we like w- cement. Okay. He, right. Yeah. Cement. Cement bricks. And um, <laughs> and uh, and he he gets robbed, and then they go to the guy's house. They shoot him up. You know, they throw some shots his way, and then they take the they take the bricks back. And so it's like, how do they admit to almost killing somebody or killing somebody on a song? You know, and it's like it's very it's a story. It's from West Side Gun, it's a it's a story. And so they could be inflaming the story. It could be a made up story. It's a great song, don't get me wrong. But um yeah. That's yeah. crazy. Man, the, the I feel like it's just ain't piece it all together yet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, yeah. They're building the case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God they're combing damn. the songs. They're combing them. That yeah. case gonna look thicker than my college portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's gonna. I yeah, I would agree with you. Great it's gonna look thicker than my bank statements from all my life. You know? <laughs> god damn. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah. I think that you know people in these situations, like if you have nothing to hide, like if someone wants to charge you, might as well like go to court prove you're innocent and then just leave like if someone tries to say some shit about drake being a pedophile and they're trying to take him to court mm-hmm. and if it's not true like sure he has nothing to hide yeah that's fair going, you know, yeah you come can out. very well take that person to court for defamation easily if you were serious about it yeah and when you're as big as drake too i'm sure he's got like five lawyers and so and i i, I guarantee that he probably brings us all this songs up to 
like music lawyers, you right. know, and then they like they double check it, make sure that they can't that he can't get sued over it, or if he can't get sued, he has to release in a certain way, like right. through YouTube or through SoundCloud or through some shady way. That'd be a weird one though, if like Kendrick, one of his that song of his got like not removed. like us, yeah, yeah, if it got removed just because he was saying. That Drake is a pedophile. Mm-hmm. That's he did say the p word. Hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he said pedophile, and then he also like was like going into like how, you know, keep your family away and stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. And I always, I, you know, I wonder like, and Kendrick was the one who was saying to Drake, "You're the liar. You're the master manipulator." And then he would say those things. So it makes me curious, like, who really is. Who's lying? Who's being truthful? Who's who's the manipulator? Who's not? Yeah. I don't know. I don't feel like Drake in in Drake's diss song was it Family Matters. All he's saying is that you live in New York and you beat your wife. It's just crazy, right? It's just crazy. Maybe not even wife. I don't even think he said that word. I think he just said girl. I think right. you're you're beating your you're beating up your baby mama. It's fucked. So I don't know. I don't know. I think that um is it self defense because you're so small? <laughs> like I forget the exact shit, shit. I forget the exact uh I forget the exact bar. But yeah, it's pretty interesting. Self defense cuz she's bigger than you. Yeah. Hey, right. Yo, something like yeah, that. something like that. So funny. That's and Drake so talks cruel. <laughs> it's so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> it's good, dude. Like I really that's why I like Drake's not like you're gonna die, you know. Yeah. Drake's just I don't know. That's why I like his songs a little more. They're a little more lighthearted in it. Like they're way more lighthearted. I like that. I don't know. I feel like it's hard to trust any like rapper or big person because there's like so much shit they do in secrecy that mm-hmm. they don't want you to know. And, like I can kind of understand that. Like I don't want people to know the inner connections of my whole life. Right, or but, even like the inside of your home. Right. So yeah, you don't like, want the inside of your home being pictured. But then, if yeah. you are like a Diddy, then it's like, hmm. what's going on, buddy? Right. But. <laughs> right, and it's it makes me go back to the. I remember hearing this rumor that Drake, every time he has a guest over, he takes the phones. Okay. I see. But then I had a buddy who had a buddy who played on UK's team, and. Um, apparently they have like you, the UK players go over to Drake's house for the summer and they like have a little pool party and they're just like hanging out and they were allowed their phones because this guy was taking like photos of like the pool and like the DJ that they were having at the pool and like, just like the inner locker that like at the basketball court that at his, at his home. And, um, so like, I wonder like, yeah, what is that situation? Like, do they take, you know, during some parties, do they take all the phones or like, what's the situation? I always wonder like, how do you, how do you make sure that people aren't just like popping up with your address? Right. I always wonder how you keep your address like secluded. If you're having parties, how do you keep your address on the DL? You know, you just have walls that are big enough to keep people out. But then you gotta have a full. Now you're going like Scarface, full security, yeah. full, full everything. And that's it's a like lot. it's a lot, dude. Need that's a, walls. And I always think like, does Drake actually live at that mansion house? I bet not. I bet he just lives at. I bet that's his little playhouse, right? And then Me he goes too. to his undisclosed location to lay down his head. That wouldn't make sense to me. But right. I don't. If I was him, you know, if I was him, I would have that mansion just to fuck around with and then just like go to another undisclosed location where nobody parties. Only I lay my head down at that place. You know, right. that's what I would do. I don't know. That shit's scary as fuck because especially if you're a big guy like Drake, you know, you have a big mansion mm-hmm. like someone like I saw an Aiden Ross clip where someone made Aiden Ross's like mansion like his newest living space in roblox and they're like the details were like down to the t as oh. if someone was in there that's so creepy that's extremely creepy so damn son seriously yeah so if someone damn. knew the layout of your house they knew where it was they can get <laughs> in they can hide in there and yeah it's just like ah that's a lot that's a lot All because someone was posting pictures online or something mm-hmm. you know it's like yeah that's scary. That's why, like, I don't know. Like, if I was if I was in their position, what would I do? Like, would I not throw? Would I throw parties? Would I not throw parties? Like, do you have to make sure? I always wonder, like, if there are um, plants, 
like if there are like um let's say you are squeaky clean let's say you are you fit all the you check all the me. boxes mm-hmm. yeah you check all the boxes of like morality you know you you have parties at over 21 or you you i don't know whatever whatever it is like you you check all the boxes of morality and if there's like some people like diddy like i kind of want to muck up their waters i kind of want to like send some young children over there to like make them not i don't know do you know what i mean like credible (laughs) words yeah yeah to almost like blackmail them but they're the ones who are actually sending these people over to moving puzzle pieces or chess pieces yeah yeah damn it's it's questionable you know and so yeah i wonder if you i could see that as well and so i don't know i bet it's a hard world i bet you really don't trust the industry (laughs) you don't trust the industry how do you trust your parties I always wondered that. How do you trust? I wouldn't even have parties, honestly, personally. Like, yeah. Parties seem too risky. Like, if I was having parties, it'd be with my, like, people I, I knew before I was famous. If that makes sense. Well, of the day ones. The day ones. Yeah. But but that's the issue with all these guys is that all their day ones get jealous or they just, like, don't keep them around. And so they just, like, have bad ties. Right. You know? They got they they got bad ties with those people. And so they never stay friends with their, with their day ones. Yeah. I know, I know. It's pretty strange. It's a crazy world out there. No one knows. I'm sorry. <laughs> How do you think it's gonna end this rap war? I think more people are just gonna end up getting involved into it, just like how ASAP Rocky got dragged into this somehow. Yeah, by Drake, and he's like, what with his second kid or about to have a second kid with Rihanna? He's yeah. about to have a second child with Rihanna. He's still not, with Rihanna? If he doesn't already have the second one already. Damn. But yeah, I, I just think he's calling out random ass people during this too. Mm. Interesting. Drake's summoning some weird battles. Yeah. I wish ASAP Rocky would actually come back though. I know the one thing that I'm truly craving is just volume three. Yeah, yeah, mob, yeah. Mob Apes. tapes. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Crazy. And like his albums too. Like I was actually looking at ASAP Rocky's like um, album count, and he's only got really like three. Album. Why did I type that? That's Jesus. Hilarious. <laughs> as soon as possible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 2018, 15, and 13. I mean, these were great albums. And um, I don't know. It's been six years, ASAP Rocky. Damn. Yeah. Testing was amazing, too. I love testing. Testing at at long last ASAP and long live ASAP. Those are great. You just got to go back to the black and white vibes. Yeah. Yeah. I miss ASAP Rocky so much. Miss him so much. But... Yeah, it seems like You're talking like he's gone. <laughs> he is. He is gone though. He's, uh, he's missing in f- an action. <laughs> he's miss. <laughs> I feel like Future's missing in action too. Even though he dropped that album, I don't know. I don't really feel like he's back. Probably was the clone know. version of Future. You know, he's the AI f- that dropped that album. Yeah, yeah. And real Future's just in hiding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, crazy. Uh-huh. Um, having those children with his manager. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, still can't his believe. manager. He's his ha- manager is his wife. Did you know that? That's crazy. And the fact that Future just gets to rap about all these crazy fucking no way. hoes and yeah. hoes and hoes and the dude, I could not be in a relationship like that. That's scary, dude. Yeah, yeah. And then you imagine your manager. She's just like, you Looking know what? You Fuck like- your sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> fuck your tour dates yeah there fuck you your go. album you fuck your beat you producers brought up, you brought up some bitch on the last album i hated her <laughs> hey yo and i'm canceling I knew. your tour bitch hey, yo. <laughs> no <laughs> that's so beans. yeah that's definitely how a rap beef gets started though just like fucking drake or someone's just shitting shitting around with someone and they just take it too far well that's what you said that to me earlier today the reason why drake and future have beef is because the potential it might be over a woman yeah you know that would make sense to me that makes so much sense to me just because sharing sharing is not caring sharing is not caring that's, that's very true yeah yeah especially when you sing and rap about it <laughs> <laughs> Imagine being that well, chick, well, Pluto, though. though. Huh? Imagine being that chick, though. 
what that you've been with future and drake yeah and you're like that mm-hmm. you started the future and, and drake rap beef over that's hilarious i started this war it was <laughs> yeah. me that is pretty baller whoever that <laughs> chick is that's she's pretty. got that status of being like yeah i sparked that little feud between future and drake yeah i got i don't would you brag about that I bet she's got that clout chase in her brain okay she's like i got that clout i can attach myself to now <laughs> <laughs> i can make a tiktok song from both songs and look at look at that millions of millions of oh, likes millions i can of make likes. a mashup oh i got, oh, I got two mashups <laughs> with the beat change oh my god watch the dance too oh good jesus i'm dead i'm done i can't do it i can't do it is your girl addicted to tiktok she is yeah but it's like a lot of like mom stuff yeah it's not like the dances yeah that's the part i don't shy away from as long as it's like life hacks or like giving helpful ass shit out for Mm -hmm. just random information then it's good she'd be hating on like the cornball shit on tiktok cornball like the the memes Mm -hmm. she doesn't like the memes she doesn't like the memes no yeah the memes are not good do you like do you guys like look over the shoulder like do you watch their feed i have yeah for a second i'm like Mm mm-hmm this is boring. Does 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 your girl ever like save videos for you to watch? Yeah. Yeah. With that yellow bookmark thing. Yeah, that oh, yellow shit. fucking bookmark oh, thing. Shit. Yeah. God and then damn. I'm I don't gonna even use I'm gonna TikTok. unlike it since I already showed it to you. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> Unsave it and unlike. <laughs> That's hilarious. Because I don't need to show it to you anymore. Yeah. It's gone forever. Yeah. Yeah. In the abyss. Yeah. Uh, my girl's been showing me a lot of um there's a few bangers. What is it? There's a few bangers, but <sighs> what's a lot of star signs? Yeah. Astrology so, uh, shit. showing me a lot of astrology shit. Yeah, yeah, that's hilarious. Indeed, yeah. She believe. Oh well, I guess a lot of the girls believe. I would assume that your girl believes too. She does not. Really? I've been teach. I feel like I've taught her more. I wow. barely know about it. What wow. about like crystals and yep. energy fields? Mm-hmm. She does not believe. My girl thinks actually that those things are the devil. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's really funny the pick and choose. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. Oh my god, it geeks the fuck out of me. Sorry, but um <laughs> it really geeks me. Dude, my girl's uh, friend, you know, they come from the Mormons. Yeah. So, like, okay. I feel like... So, she believes in the rocks? Not. Because she, like, <laughs> she wasn't about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's a deep Mormon reference, by the way. She wasn't, like, about it. Okay. Like, that Mormon life. Okay. So, uh, I feel like she's just like, I don't want to believe in anything. Right. You know? I feel like that's how she is now, for sure. Like That's fair. That's a good route, her. honestly. Real atheist. Oh, really? That's a shame. That's a shame. I believe they're... I don't they're, really know, though. You're saying just, like, turned off a religion? It's kind of almost... Did it's she not like she's off? trying to be an atheist. Okay. It's just, like, she just... It just doesn't click. So she doesn't think there's a God? Yeah, but not, like... She won't be, like... She won't tell you there's not a God. Mm. She won't be, like, there is no God. <laughs> God killed <laughs> like babies. <a> witch. <laughs> okay. She'll just be, like, oh, you're a Christian. Oh, that's interesting. You know, mm-hmm. and then she would tell you, like, I used to go to the church, but I don't anymore. Mm-hmm. She okay. won't, like, approve her a deny. Yeah. She's, like, neutral? Yeah, pretty neutral. Passive? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you believe in God? I think so. I think I yeah. have to. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. I think there is a God, but, you know, no religion will lead me to him. Ha! Gendered him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! We're card- We're Jesus creating a gender woman. war. Oh shit! God is he? <laughs> Dune three, holy war. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Dude, I can't wait until Dune three. What do you think it's gonna be called though? Just part three. Just part three. That's so fucking dumb. stupid as fuck. Yeah. That's that's where they went wrong. They shouldn't have called it part two. I think they should have called it something else. They could have like Dune. You know, I fuck it. I, don't I mean, Messiah. Yeah. Fine. Okay, that'd been fine. That's crazy. Yeah, I haven't I'm, seen any of them yet. My so. my older brother's apparently the Messiah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm not. They, the ma, the la, 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 la. Whoa! <laughs> what are these words? <laughs> the Lahaman Hadish. Yeah. No. Yo. No. No. Isn't it the? 
<laughs> the Mushahadeen. It's Yo, the Mushahadeen, what are isn't these it? Guys <laughs> right Mushahadeen. <laughs> yeah. If, um, you got to watch it. Yeah, too. that sounds like some Rick and Morty <laughs> wubble over dub dub shit. It's like, cool, it though. Some I, I do have to say, like, the, they're fucking. It was phenomenal. I right. really did like Dune, too. Like you said, Gaib. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did get their middle eastern points on that movie i will say they definitely got their middle eastern points on that movie I see. everybody like looked middle eastern in that and everybody was like you know the messiah the messiah like yeah i think in yeah. the first movie though i hated that one woman the one who taught the guy how to fly the omnithopter or whatever you, you hate the black woman yeah Really? Why? She just was not like she did not add anything to the story. Mm, that's like, fair. She pointed. She basically pointed where they should have gone, mm-hmm. and then was like, "Yeah, you took over this planet, and now you're screwed." Yeah, but at least in that, at least in the end of that movie, you get the first conversation about she's talking to um to she Timothy. Was like the first Fremen that she that they talked to. Yeah, but the, also, like, you get foreshadowing in the first movie about, like, him wanting to marry the Emperor's daughter because the Emperor has no sons, and, like, and he's like, you stupid boy, you're, you have no, you have no house, you have no royalty, like, you are just lone in the desert, you have no right to marry an Emperor's daughter, like, you get the, you get at least the, that foreshadowing. Yeah, that plot twist at the end of 2 is crazy, though. The fact that he's not going with Zendaya. I know, I Did know. Did you know that, Kaya? I don't know if you've seen it. Wait, what? You he, gotta, he you gotta, up, we gotta, Zendaya? he ends up not going with Zendaya. <laughs> I see, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. He mm-hmm. friend zones her so hard. <laughs> he really does, and then she leaves out of, out of anger. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. I feel like, uh, she does look pretty scary nowadays. It is real skinny. I feel like I've been saying this every podcast. Yeah, you say like a heroin you, addict. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of uh, Have you agree seen, with you. Well, you guys need to see Challenger, I guess, right? Is that the new movie? Challenger? Yep. Uh, Challenger? Oh, is this Challenger. the tennis one? Oh, God. This isn't the love triangle, is it? It's probably. Yeah. Yeah, this yeah. is the love triangle. Wait, one. is this where she gets like. She makes out. get done yeah. by two yeah. dudes? That's oh, gross. Wait, did she get DP? What are you talking about? What is DP? Oh, God. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> um, this is just, yeah, I remember seeing this picture. I was so grossed out by it, but now you're saying that it's almost out. It's about to be out in theaters. No, I I think I've seen like a, a clip or something about this. Yeah, I've like seen Tom a clip. Like Tom Hamlet has to be jealous. Like oh, she's getting do you guys think they're married? Tom Holland and Zendaya? Yeah. No, probably it's, not. I, they would have announced a baby or something. Maybe some I don't know. I, my girlfriend keeps saying that they're married. No, they're like they had a secret wedding. They had a secret wedding. Like she's convinced. She's hardcore convinced that they're married. I could see it though. I mean, like Makes that's sense. just down the line. But then you pick I mean, up this movie. After that, I mean, I'm pretty sure she like at least makes out with both of these guys in that yeah, scene. Yeah, she does. Oh, in that scene. Yeah. Oh God. Okay. That's At pretty. the same time, am I correct on that? Or? I don't know. I remember seeing the clip, and she like looks at both of them, and I was like, ugh. Is yeah, it, is it gross? Is it grody? Yeah. yeah. Should we should we watch it? <laughs> nah, <laughs> Maybe nah, we nah, should. Nah, <laughs> is it not? <laughs> Just to <laughs> put the cherry on top. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is about to be like a whole lot of misrepresentation. Should it should be the trailer. Or should be the two dudes. <laughs> two dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Still funny. <laughs> oh, good. oh god! Two dudes trailer. There this? Oh no! E news. E news. found. Thank you. I mean, it w- hey, come hang out with us later. Want me to come tuck you in? No, we just keep talking. Nah, 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 come on. I don't want to. Yo, that's so weird. Ew, bruh. So she's got a thing for both of the tennis players. They're saying I should be flattered. Aren't you everybody's type? Come here. Which one of us? Bro. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah. That's so gross. So I'm not watching this. Uh, oh, God. Yes. Okay. What's happening in that? <laughs> 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 All right, I'm good. I don't that's need it. too much. I don't get it. Yeah, I'm sure bro. Tom Hanwood fucking did a backflip when he saw that shit. Dude, that would irk me if this was my girl. 
I think I'd have to do a million push-ups. I don't think. I think you'd <laughs> have think to be, be some revisioning and being like, yeah, I don't know about this one. Uh, yeah, that's true. Sneeko likes his shit though. Sneeko? Oh <laughs> man, that he would lick his teeth to that one. Oh hell no. <laughs> but <laughs> I think I it? think she's too black for him. Damn. <laughs> Not to be that person. I don't mean to say that. Uh, but like, <laughs> it would suck to be the co-star though. Whoever uh, the two guys are, being like, oh yeah, what's your What's your star role in this movie? Oh, I get to kiss on the side of the ne- on uh, Zendaya's neck. Yeah, it's like, pretty. It's pretty interesting. I wonder. Twenty twenty three. I thought this came out already. It. I guess it has, but that's pretty know. gross. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. What this feels like is. Um, do you remember Savages? Do you remember that movie? Yeah, you can't. I don't on. watch movies. Nah, but come look, on. You, I can't know. wait for that shit. I've been watching that. I already finished, or I'm about to be finished in season three. Yeah, you remember the this boys. movie. Come on. Have you you ever it. seen The Boys? I've not seen The Boys. Dude, it's such a good series. You don't remember this movie? No. Yeah, you do. Dude, that's like the same clip right there. Yeah, that is the same clip. Yeah, it's these two guys. They share a girl. What? Yeah, you don't. We watched this movie together, Nolan. Really? I promise you. Yeah. I this promise does look you. familiar. Yeah. Uh, why is it not cool when two guys share? <laughs> <laughs> but just but when it's two girls and one guy, it's like oh, totally different. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, it's a culture thing. It's definitely a culture thing. Yeah. yeah. If it, it's that kind of a story where things just got so out of control. Yeah, you don't remember this movie? I want to mute it. The guy that I like in this movie, though, is the guy from Fear and Loathing. Who? That guy? No. He's He's got dreads in this movie? What the fuck? This guy, apparently, I keep hearing this, that he married his family friend, and she was 40, and he was 18, and he has children with her, apparently. Isn't he in um, Bullet Train? Yes. He's also in Bullet Train. Yeah. And he's also um, in The Avengers, Tron. Yeah. Yeah. Of Ultron. He's of Ultron, tr- yeah. He's Quicksilver? Yeah, he's like the quick guy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That brings up memory back. I know, no, right? I really don't remember this movie, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It's definitely interesting. Damn, we couldn't do this shit, man. I could not you play could that not, movie. You could not share your girlfriend? No. <laughs> no. I could. No. I'm not sharing, bro. No. Not cucking out <laughs> this one. <laughs> yeah. That's so bad. That's interesting. That's an interesting move. Hey, can you quit? Can you quit? Um what time thing are we at? We're at we're at one thirty. Uh, we're at nice. one thirty. Yeah. I don't know. Here, I guess I can I guess I can show you. I'm gonna show you um a clip that I had um that I showed Nolan bef- previously today, but I think um yeah, that's gonna be your next thing to watch, though, Preston. If Dude, you I've seen this video. If you ever have Amazon, the Rock eating. Oh, rocks. the Rock eating rocks. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It's fair. You gotta watch the boys. The boys. Oh, you want me to right now? Oh no, 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 right now. Okay. I'm just saying, like the series, it's pretty good. Can you stop it? This is the most worrisome commercial. Sorry, she's fucking with the mic stand. Can you stop? Oh, can we do intermission? My mom is calling me. Yeah, we can do intermission right now, actually. Right. I think, like, all, even Valentine's Day, dude. Valentine's really? Day is a fake holiday. It's such a fucking fake holiday. Okay. And so, like, I, I don't know why we have to, like, as a society, why are we accepting those fake holidays? Can I, like, be appreciative? I know, they just keep compounding. Yeah. Soon we're going to have a fucking half mother's day or something like yeah, uh, I can see it. there's gonna be like a, there's gonna be a non-mother's day it's just to get that capitalism money flowing you know right I mean? yeah i don't have a kid day like <laughs> there's gonna oh, be shit. there's gonna be those there's gonna be i don't know yeah um, um, yeah the adopt a dog day adopt a dog day sure eat a rock day <laughs> What is Holy shit, that's loud. <laughs> you haven't seen this? I, I've seen this, but the advancement in AI is going crazy right now. Yeah. Let me have some Eden. I'm, is this an AI song too? 
It's got to be, right? Looks like it sounds like ACDC. <laughs> Why is this shit so weird? It's so not. It's so uncomfortable. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the Boston Dynamics thing. Dude, you should go on their channel and look at their latest video. Yeah. Of should their, I? Yeah, it's fucking startling. Okay. Creepy shit. Do you want to watch this one first sure, then? Sure. I haven't. I actually haven't seen this. You haven't? No. I get I get uncomfortable watching this, this fake is dog. Scary. Yeah. It's very scary. I think I'd rather have the 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 yellow fake thing. Oh god, that's so terrifying. Absolutely. <laughs> and why does it have a fucking snake head? Yo. I can't do it. I can't do the fucking dance party thing. But like honestly, if I had one of these things and I could like tell it to go fetch me a coke or something like that, that's kind of cool. I would enjoy that. Fair. I would really enjoy that. Programming it though. What? Sounds crazy. Yeah, but eventually they're going to get to a point where it starts to adapt, right? I actually don't know. Where you could start like teaching I mean, it, it things. It makes sense. Yeah. You could like give it inputs without having to code it. Yeah, it makes sense. Like um it would almost have a program of like how to learn. Right. You know, just like a simple pro. Well, I say simple. <laughs> Jesus, that's not a simple program. But like you tell it to like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's going to be interesting for sure. It's going to be because like, are we going to have virtual, are we going to have like pets like this? I say pets. Are we going to have like, I don't even want to call them this a pet. This is the video of that new Atlas robot. Do you want to watch it? Yeah. That shit is crazy, dude. Like, they have perfected their robotics. In what almost. way? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's so nasty. Ew. It's crazy how it's Ew. number one. Ew. Ew. Why did it do that? So I nuts. didn't like any of that. Doesn't it seem fake? Yeah. Can we rewatch that actually? For sure. Because that was so grody. From laying down to getting up, it was so quick. <laughs> and it's Ew. grody. He doesn't even have to bend. No. That's so fascinating. And the turning around, he's just turning his head around. Yeah. And he just turns the joints around. Ooh, dude, that's so creepy. I mean, and you can tell actually those those machines do have a lot of wear and tear. They actually have like a lot of marks on them because like they are doing shit with them. Like right. they are actively programming and tuning and a actively like coding. It's very interesting. It's nuts, dude. They make me so uncomfortable. These people are literally going to have the new war machines in about a decade. They are going to have some crazy fucking gun attachments soon. Mech suits. Yeah. Why don't we have mech suits yet? Seriously, I'm surprised that like Iron Man is not a thing yet. Do you think Boston Dynamics actually has like a Tony Stark type character owning it and he's like tweaking them in the in his basement? I think that's the end game. Yeah. Like, is that a wait, not the person, but like a like the Iron Man body, you know yeah. what I mean? And mm -hmm. like it, for it to be able to do things like that, like super efficient, getting up, turning around, sure. Without like walking in circles or anything. Yeah. I, I guess it would be more like the Terminator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. Because like, if, if you were inside that machine, it would just break every single yep. bone in your body, because it it can do multi jointed things that we cannot do. Right. <sighs> makes me uncomfortable. It's nuts. You got any thoughts to it? I think it makes that other robot look like a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it makes this. It does make this look like a bitch. Optimus That's very true. Yeah. Tesla's robot. Yeah. It's fucking nothing. <laughs> yeah and the joints are just creepy yeah but i think that i would i still want an optimus like i still want the the idea of one of those robots if we could just have yeah. one of them in the background like just like serving us some water or, like waving for three hours <laughs> <laughs> the entire fucking <laughs> that's what would drain its battery life <laughs> it's just waving the whole time yeah that's true that's fair God. that's funny or just like doing like 
um, stupid shit. Would like know. jump and touch its toes, but like it does it softly the entire time. Could you imagine? Like you don't actually feel the impact of it because it, it like is so tuned perfect <laughs> perfectly that you don't even feel the impact on the ground. So it just does that constantly, jumping up and touching its toes <laughs> and up and down. Hell no. Nah. Oh my god, dude, that's funny. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen like the fight robots? Yeah, I guess I have. Are you talking about like just like the videos of the little battle? robots? Yeah. Yeah, battle robots. Yeah. I would love to see Boston Dynamics make some battle robots. Yeah, they're pretty interesting. They're definitely they're definitely weird. Like this is nine years ago. This is a year ago. They'd be doing some crazy stuff. All right, let's go to the peak. You ready? Ah, the ads. Old Spice oh, Shampoo. These, these robot Hire me, Procter & Gamble. I can make some banging soap. And I think it would go perfectly with your Old Spice. Oh, like a top spinner. Holy cow. The fucking wow. announcers are hilarious. How do you get an announcing job like that? Oh. Oh. God damn. I, I bet the RPM on that thing so was so old. <laughs> They're oh. so fucking old. That was crazy, dude. How fast do you think that thing was spinning to like explode like that? Yeah, it looked like <laughs> it was 1,500 was RPMs or something like that, wouldn't you think? Right, yeah. I feel like it's always like something spinning and then like some sort of like bulldozer robot in like the finals and shit. Mm. That's fair. That's fair. We can look up another one. The reactions. I think I've seen this years. shit. You seen this one? The flamethrower. Damn. Do you think they actually have people? Is that an actual crowd I hear? What is going? on? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Barbecued. That was. That just gave me more confusion than it no gave me. No context. I know. We need the announcers. <laughs> We do need the announcers in that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe they just let us hang dry know, on that right? one. That was just like... The one time they don't have announcers. Yeah. This is interesting. All right. The la last one. Last right. one. What is the point of that one? It's just smacking it. <laughs> 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 it's got the weakest fucking weapon. Of course you're going to lose. God damn. <laughs> You're just hitting it, tapping it back and forth. And there's a ref. That's hilarious. I feel like in these kind of games, there are no rules. So why do you need a ref? Yeah, you, know? you really don't need a ref. Yeah. Unless your robot gets backed into the corner. You're like, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Let's reset, reset. But you can't even walk into these rooms, right? Yeah. Because they're so fucking dangerous. Because... Of yeah, uh, saw blades protracting from the floor. Yeah, I bet they got some. I they should probably have like three inch pot like plexiglass and that like shells the whole state like the whole little fight area. For sure. <clears throat> what what would your guys' like attack be on your attack robot if you made one? Hmm, it's a good question. I think saws are pretty cool. Pretty I think cool. saws do a lot of fucking damage. It seems like yeah. all the major ones definitely have like some good saws on them. Either that or um, I don't know. I really don't yeah, know what else really besides a saw. What are you doing? Think flipping. So yeah, maybe flipping. a dozer. I like dozer. Mm, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I think I do. If, if you can get something on its side to where it's not moving, I guess you win. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and you know that you know that car in GTA where it's a ramp. Yeah, I feel like that would be very beneficial too because if you could get the other car on top of you. Right, and then you're just underneath of its tracks, and then you could like flip it onto the like little Spikes. the yeah. sides, like the side um, drills. I yeah. guess they were. I don't know. Like I'm they were surprised. There's not one that's like a trap where it gets like, like gets driven plans. up on, and then like you get pancakes. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, mm. yeah. We're just being flipped over. I mean, that seems like a big deal. Yeah. Because you probably need tracks on, or you need to be able to like flip yourself over if you're that kind of vehicle. I don't, I don't know. know. That spinning Roomba thing was pretty volatile looking. You know, what these look like, though, are cars. 
They don't look like humanoids. And eventually, the Boston Dynamic guys are going to have some humanoids in there. Or dogs. Find, or dogs find it out, yeah. Dude, that'd be nuts. Just oids, Just you know? fucking, like, <laughs> picking it up <laughs> from the side, from, like, a mm-hmm. safe grab distance. Just fucking shoving it into the blades and shit. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I always wonder, like, if they're going to figure out what's the best shape of an animal like the best fighting shape what right. it what is it like is it a rhinoceros is it an elephant is it a is it an alligator is it a is it a tiger like what is the best combination of a size of an animal and like right. what's the best like build because like with these kind of competitions of the battle robots you could probably figure it out you could probably figure it out dude if they did they'd probably have like some sort of buddha thing where it has like some missiles, some guns, some fucking laser beams. Mm, okay. Some shit. And you say Buddha. Yeah, or oh, <laughs> like Doc Ock. You know what I mean? Doc Ock. No. Doc Ock. Doc Ock. Who's Doc that? The octopus. Oh, okay, okay. The first arms. villain in Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. That would just give a shit out of me. Yeah. Like, literally, it would just be like one of those dogs with multiple, like, arms, I mm, guess. That would be pretty fucking crazy. That'd be pretty crazy. Or if it, are you saying Buddha like a uh, a person with multiple arms? Yeah. So are you saying I'm that? Sure. I think that's um that's a different god. But oh, yeah, that's Hindu. Fuck. Yeah, it's it's a Hindu god of some. Damn. Like oof. The sun god Nikia. I don't, shit. Know, I don't fucking I don't know. know. It's the purple I guy. I wish I knew. It's the purple guy. I, I thought, thought he was blue. He might be blue. <laughs> 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 I don't know. I'm colorblind. I'm sorry. Um, All the Indians in the chat are gonna kill me. <laughs> How could you not get <laughs> the obvious god of? <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> yeah, these guys are these guys are interesting. That's for sure. Oh, what was the movie that you wanted me to pull out? What was it? What was it? Um, I don't remember. Are you sure? Come on, it what was, was it from. It, you were talking about Zendaya and that movie. Challengers. Yeah. But like there was another movie um you want me to pull up. Yeah, I really don't remember. That's a shame. That's a shame. Yeah, I got nothing. I okay. Know. Oh, I was telling you to watch the series The Boys. The Boys, right. The yeah. Boys is a great show. Do you want to give context? Um it's if superheroes had a media team and they had to like be looking all good for PR and shit. Okay. But obviously, this is like a real world spin on it. Mm -hmm. So they don't do good to like media Mm. and PR. So in this world of superheroes, they're just like glorified. But their egos are massive. Okay. Interesting. Have you been watching it? Yeah, I'm on season three right now. I'm about to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. But season four is about to be coming out. And it's all about just like superpowers and shit. Okay. It's, yeah, it's, it's a pretty good series. Yeah. It's only on Amazon, though. Do you like Amazon? Yeah. They I got some fire shows on there. Mm-hmm. I figured out that Amazon actually puts a lot of their stuff for free but with ads. I was actually like, I was watching, um, I was watching the British Top Gear. I see. Yeah. And like, they had, they had, like, they just Most put of it up for free. Is, yeah, free with ads. Yeah. I was a big fan of that. I was like, wow. Because I can't find it anywhere. God, I can't find, like, the British, like, from 2000. It's, like, with um, the original cast it's of the three. British British Top Gear with um, Jeremy Clarkson, James May, and Hammond something. I forget his last name. Damn. Sorry. Hammond something. But, yeah. Yeah. I, it's interesting. I hate Netflix. Do I've been you? trying to like watch Netflix. Do they have ads now? No. Does Netflix have ads? I haven't seen it. They're any. about to. They're about to? Hell no. I, I hate I swear. It. I hate Disney with ads. I hate Disney has ads. Disney has ads. Oh my god. Hulu has ads. Like, but we, they're the we part already th- pay for it. Like. I know. I know. And also like my YouTube, I have ad blockers, so like we don't I don't have to see ads ever, thank God. But I'm just not a fan of ads. It, actually, it literally makes me want to turn the TV off. I, I remember like I was like, I was like trying to watch something on Disney and it was like uh, Deadpool, you know? And like, oh, so it was a movie with ads. It was a movie with ads. I and I like, once I was for the, once I was in the second ads, I was like, oh, I'm okay. 
I don't yeah, want this it anymore. It ruins the whole experience of watching a movie. Yeah. Why am I watching ads in a movie? Like, that's the whole fucking reason <laughs> I watched a movie for. It's nothing in between. Right. You know? Yeah. And it's like, it just... They destroy the whole, like... I don't know. They just destroy my love of it. Yeah. Like, love of a movie. Is it like one of those crappy ads where it's like three back-to-back ads? Or is yeah. it like a YouTube so ad? Um, YouTube ads are... They change, right? But right. like sometimes the Disney ads don't change, and so they're the same ad over and over oh, again. No. But sometimes they do change it up. I was watching like real TV for the last week. I went on vacation, the and ads are um, crazy. well, the yeah, it's funny. It's like two minutes of ads, isn't it? Yeah, and it's the same ad over and over again. That's the thing. It's the same fucking. I watched the same. Um, God, I forget the candy bar that I was watching, but it was, was it a, Reese's. No, okay. it was like the Crustable or Crunchable or Crunch, Crunch, the Crunch bars. Yeah, okay. Crunch bars, and they were just having the same like the same ad over and over again. I was like wanting to beat my head against the fucking wall because I just kept hearing the same fucking ad over and over again. Yeah, like you laugh at it the first time, and then you watch it for a hundred more times, yep. and you're like, I. How did I laugh at this at first? It's it's brutal. Yeah, it's I think nuts. all ads need a fucking burn in a hole. I hate them. Yeah, they should be, they should be crucified. Back in the day, I remember when like uh, the YouTube ads were crazy, yeah. and now they're like tame compared to like the other ads. Yeah, like where it's like oh. back to back to back. Dude, I was watching South Park um, at night, and there was like call one eight hundred phone sex. And it was like it was like a woman with like fucking Z's, <laughs> like <laughs> Z's. yeah, <laughs> like uh, with plastic surgery, plastic lips, oh, plastic shit. forehead, plastic everything. And um, yeah, it was crazy. I've never seen an ad like that on like live TV before. That's and nuts. Um, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Like, uh, wait, was it like a realistic or was it a drawing? Like soft part drawing no it was realistic oh it was a real it was a real God. ad it was a real ad of like a real oh she, she was a real human being she was a real woman some adult swim ads yeah that's nuts dude yeah. adult swim be wild in yeah yeah I, like, I was gonna pull up the actual ad but like i feel like that's too incriminating yeah <laughs> <laughs> but like it is comedy i am gonna do it actually. don't do it don't do Are it sure person. don't do it it's like it's don't pretty interesting it. uh, i think it, i think i get the gist <laughs> Have you seen uh, the Adult Swim <laughs> the after dark? <laughs> Change the topic, Nolan. Change the topic. <laughs> Save me now. No, it's not there. It's funny. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's gone. It's not there. It's not there. That's so sad. That was a close uh, call. I know. It was a close call. I almost got to it. Shit. <laughs> you guys blank minded now? Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen the Adult oh. Swim after dark shit? After, yeah. After dark is so weird. So fucking it's very weird. trippy. Like that's probably the only word I could give you, right? Yeah. It's very um I don't even want to say it's like Twilight. It's not like Twilight. No. It's not like Twilight at all. I but really want to know like what gave you those ideas to make this? Mm. You know, I mean why promote it if it is bad? Well, it's after dark, right? <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> yeah, but like I I think that like they realize that only about twelve people watch in between certain hours and so they can just fuck around. I see. I think it's their fuck around time and then if people actually genuinely like that fuck around time, then they can put it to daytime. That's my thought on it. I see. I don't know. I don't know if that's right or not, but like I think it's like they're testing. It's like let's just see what we can do. Fair. You know? Dude, Cartoon Network I think it it wasn't um like with Teen Titans Go. Like mm-hmm. their whole like seventy percent of their airtime is Teen Titans Go. Yeah. It's yeah. nuts. And then like the other twenties, like the Amazing World of Gumball. Mm-hmm. And it's just like that is pretty sad. Yeah. What? Where are your shows? You're supposed to be like the sh- have all network, these cartoons. The network of cartoons. Yeah. Now it's just like two. And there's mm-hmm. like nothing original being thrown out for real anymore or anything. It's yeah. pretty sad. I don't even. Teen Titans Go seems like such a washed up show, too. Right. They I'd, had like nine seasons in a year or some shit. Like some crazy shit like that. A year or two. Jesus Christ. They were like 
fucking throwing out that garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and it was garbage. It was hot yeah. garbage. It's hot nuts. garbage. And um, yeah, Amazing World of Gumball is like a weird one too. Like right. there seems like they they hit a couple good episodes, but then they also hit a couple bad episodes. I feel like it's like SpongeBob, but it's also like. I was also young when I watched it, mm-hmm. where like the first two seasons are good, mm-hmm. but then at that time I was also young. I was like in middle school, mm-hmm. so I like I liked those jokes yeah. at the time for sure. So now yeah. if I went back, I probably wouldn't. You know what? I just rewatched mm. SpongeBob. SpongeBob is good. The movie mm. that yeah. is goaded. Yeah, the second movie, not the not the one with David Hasselhoff. I don't what is the, the one movie? where he? Mm-hmm. Gets the Krabby Patty formula stolen, and he has to like go above. Water. Yeah, it might be called out of, out of water. Yeah, that one. Oh, I see the new one. Gotcha. There's, did you know there was a newer one after this? No, with Ke- Keanu Reeves. Really? There's a third one. Interesting. So this is the second one, the Sponge Out of Water. Okay. And then I actually there's a watch this in theater. One. You watch this in theater? That is embarrassing. That's extremely embarrassing. Actually, you know, I got to tell you. That's called, yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. <sighs> what is going on, man? That's a lot. <laughs> that is so much. Um, I, my mother was trying to tell me that Keanu Reeves doesn't shower. Mm. She heard that he doesn't shower. Ever. Ever? He Ever. Never, I, he just, Wait, that's true? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, shit. But she was, <laughs> she was saying that she knows a couple people who know Keanu. Keanu, Keanu, and um, apparently doesn't shower. Huh. I don't know. I think that's a rumor, though. I, I, I rebottled her, but yeah. That's crazy. That's Let's a funny up. thing to say. Yeah, you remember the first movie, though, when it was they go look for King Neptune's crown or whatever with David Hasselhoff. The first one? Yeah, How that's the first action. Oof, who this is, is this? not who I want to get. Yo, K E A K E A. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, yeah, what? A, he looks like the type of dude that doesn't shower. Shower? Question mark. I don't know. In that last one, yeah, I could see that, but I feel like his old videos. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is not gonna go well. Uh, You're gonna get a bunch of thirst traps. <laughs> All right, this is not what I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I think the last search was funny too. <laughs> this is more yeah. cursed. Did you know that, Lady Nolan? Lady? <laughs> no, I did not. Did you know her? <laughs> yeah, of course. The last one. Is she from a movie? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, she's a porn star. Oh, of course. Fucking yeah. Course. You didn't know that? No, I didn't know. I kind of thought about it, but I was like, no. no. Based off of those Looks pictures, like I could I could have gathered that information. Right. I thought she was just like yeah. a movie person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different she's shooting actor. movies for sure. She's an actor too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It, it kind of adds up. She did kind of look like some trailer trash, not going to lie. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's what happens when you get a, throw a typo in there. Mm, I hey, know, yo. and I felt like I was so close, too. I really felt like I was close. If it was the old Google, you would have mm, been fucked. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would have been a part I have to blur out yeah, so we don't get yeah. flagged on YouTube. I would have been like, my eyes. <laughs> 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 You're trying to find the guy from SpongeBob. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> how it was when we were kids, though, for sure. <laughs> it's so true, dude. There yeah. were so many searches on accident. Like, dude, I remember trying to figure out when I was a how, when I was a kid, trying to figure out what MILF meant. Oh, and shit. then you're like, what's MILF? And then there was no description. And then you're like, I'll just click images to figure this one out. <laughs> Yo, like, dude. I've dude. had some some shit like that before. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Never again. Never again. The safe search will prevent it. <laughs> <laughs> but i bet if i look up milf now just be like some t-shirts yeah. they're trying to sell and they're trying to push onto you or like that um did you like the milf manor have you seen that before have you seen that garbage tlc show there's yeah. a um there's a show that tlc is trying to push that um is parent like parents and their children trying to date if Wait, that makes what? sense so like let's say you and your mother go to this house and you intermingle with like the other oh another mom another mom oh, in their okay. chat so weird that yeah was weird yeah and so it's tlc cool. just be coming up with any shit nowadays 
<laughs> Dude, MILF. They're like, fuck, we Manor. ran out of fat people. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, I, let's go TLC MILF. Yeah, you could be looking it up. Are you sure that this is a thing? I promise you, dude. Milf Manor, there, there we go. Is. I needed it to actually be a safe search. Dang, they don't look... Two? There's a second one? Old. There's there's two, yeah. Milf two. The Milfs don't look that old. Am I crazy for saying that? No, but I think it's the... Entertainment the Weekly, meet the cast of Milk, Milf Manor the, 2. It's the thought that counts. Like it's the, the fact that they have that kids counts. are of age. <laughs> you yeah. know what it is? Hey, let's hear it for a second. I am seven years older than him. We that just realized is gross, that we bro. Completely compatible. You know, it's I funny. thought I had my whole life planned, but now I'm here, open to the adventure. It's a lot of surgery. Connection that, the these night. are the people that come into the restaurant I work also, at. Also, the, the smoker's voice. <laughs> the smoker's yeah. voice is bad. Yeah, there's a lot she going on. She sounds like Steve-O, bro. <laughs> Special guy. Oh, God. I'm that kind of woman that really likes to be around a man. I've never been by myself. Like in Dude, kindergarten. This is scary. I, I, yeah. These people Red are scaring flags. me. Red flags right away. I've never been by myself. I always like it to be around a man. Yeah. This is a pretty interesting That's people. a red flag right there. Well, I think the red flag is really being on that show. Can we be honest? Like yeah. I think um I think once they say I was on Milf Manor one and two, you're like TLC's gotcha, huh? You know where they got all these MILFs from? Where? From MTV's MT- Teen Mom. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. That's really They funny. got it from Teen Mom 1 and 2. <laughs> yeah. No way. And then the Teen Mom reboot. Revisit. What was that? Do you know what I'm talking about? When I they're do like, remember the revisit. The revisit like 10 years later on like Teen Mom and how they're doing. A lot of them are fat. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are fat. That's so crazy. Yeah. yeah. Man. It's uncomfortable. I remember when Team Mom was cool when we were younger, right? Yeah, Do you guys was, remember that? I didn't watch her. I didn't support that garbage. Yeah. Uh, it starts getting weird when you're around that age and you're like, oh. Ooh. Yeah, it, it now was I, weird. This is a great life lesson. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was just like, when for we were, me, it was like, how is that even possible? Yeah. What? Right. Yeah. I was, right. I was, that was me wrapping it around my head. Like, I could not take care of a kid right now at this at age. 16, Literally. 15, and you're like, i am got to deal with TLC. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, it's cloning. Just right. don't spray the wires. I know, I almost sprayed start my... Start electrocuting all of us. <laughs> 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 we start hearing feedback from the computer, I'm going to mute it. Yeah, oh, it crashes. I know. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit, this is not recorded. Oh, really? Okay. You just want to end it? Yeah, you just want to end it there? How much time are we, what time are we We're at? We're at 2.06. Okay, I just stopped five minutes It's been a great oh, episode. Let's hope both of them are recording. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. We good? What is that, episode 58? 58. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. I think this comes out in July, maybe in June. I don't know. We appreciate you viewers and listeners. Thank you for tuning in. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. And thank you for listening to our Drake rebuttal or whatever. The Drake and Kendrick um, discussion. Discussion. Yeah. It was a nice discussion. And then TLC taken from MTV. And that's funny. (laughs) That's a funny joke, by the way. (laughs) I like that one a lot. And just scoop them right up. (laughs) Deep. Right out the parking lot. (laughs) (laughs) Once their contracts ends with uh, MTV, just pull them right back into TLC. God. (laughs) That's how it works. The cycle. Yeah. Yeah, It's the natural. Natural (laughs) order. (laughs) From Teen Mom to Milf Manor. (laughs) God. (laughs) That's so fucking horrible. It's the only path it's the some old, of these people yeah it's the only financial path that they can they can have if it's worth the money yeah i guess yeah yeah i couldn't do it yeah neither could i neither my could. kids decide to do that they are no longer my children mm, <laughs> damn son having kids at like damn. 14 are you kidding me? what do you think you're gonna be you think you're gonna be a uh a girl dad or uh you're gonna have uh you're gonna have a son which one do you think you're gonna lean to- towards? I want to have a son, but I feel like I'm gonna end up with a daughter, mm. knowing my luck. You probably your luck. <laughs> Come back to episode 58, future Kaya uh, yep. children, just to be <laughs> scorned on this one lesson. Hi, daughter. How's it going? 
<laughs> what if you have a son and you're saying that, but then oh, you're shit. foreshadowing for you having a trans? <laughs> oh, no. No. It's all son, over. It's not okay. <laughs> it's not okay, son. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. You do you. You do you, child. It's been a wonderful episode. I'm getting the bell out right now. I'm getting the bell out. <laughs> <laughs> Peace uh, out, everyone. Yeah, have a See great, have a great day. Bye bye. The Aruga Podcast. Somehow, somebody's always looking the other way. Now look at these guys; they look busy, right?